Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Spiegel Mom Scraps where I am going to be using <clears throat> these two new um, sequence mixes that are from the May collection. Now the two that I'm going to use is Vintage Heart and it's got like the bronze and the clears and the silvers in it. And then the road tripping, which has got the blues, the greens, the pinks, and then some more clear. Now, the collection that I am going to use this with is the Woodland Collection. And the picture that I'm going to post right up here is the inspiration of what I'm doing. And it is from all to new. They're using, like, I think wood veneers is what the feature is of this photo. But I'm looking more of the layout inspiration. So I grabbed... Some of my heart dies and cut the ones that I'm going to use um, in this. And then I am actually going to be cutting again from this. And I'm going to make this. I am going to be using four different um, Ranger Ink ones, which is Tattered Rose, Saltwater Taffy, Dried Marigold, and then Speckled Egg. Because these four colors match this paper, and this is the paper that I'm going to use. So let's kind of get this started and see where this is going to go. It is going to be the photos of just my um, daughter in our little puppy, Asher Basher, as you can tell there. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I'm going to start out with doing my distress of how I always distress the papers, and then I will put this together. And then I will get to what I am going to do with cutting out the hearts. As you can tell from this layout, she has a ton of hearts. And I always like to do mixed media um, when I do a lot of die cutting. So I have got some hearts off to the side that I've already die cut out. And this is the mixed media part. Now, I sped this up really quickly because it takes a while for me to get this done. So the four distressed inks that I'm using is, you will see speckled egg is the first one. Then I roll out with dried marmalade. I come in with dried marmalade. Now when I say that I use it, I thought I was gonna use a white more or a lot more of it, but then it kind of wasn't quite dry. So the one thing about the grit paste, it's translucent. So it's clear glitter inside, and when you put these colors on there, it kind of doesn't dry all the way, so you can tell that I got some of the green in there, and it kind of turned it this funkier color, but I, do, I was able to get the yellow that I needed. And then I came in with saltwater taffy and then tattered rose. So the saltwater taffy is the one I'm using right now. And then I do, like I said, I do come in with Tattered Rose. Now you'll see me use the, what they call the Pops of Color from um, Shimmer's Paints. And I wanted that white look in there. So you'll see on some of this stuff is white as white can be. So I'm just going through and I had to sit here. This this layout took me over, over two hours to get done. But that was because of the drying of the mixed media. Grit paste and the distressing grit paste, no matter which one you get, it is translucent, so it takes the color, but it does take a while for it to dry. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up if you do purchase that. But now I'm into the layout, and I'm going to place these hearts down the middle. I do do the trans, like the monochromatic all the way down, and then... But the rest of it is not. I just wanted the hearts to be matching up with the the lines just like um, they have in the photo up above for the layout for the layout that I am scrap lifting. Now make sure that you go check out Spiegel Mom Scraps. Everything will be linked down below of what I am using. It is the May collection. Again, I am using Road Trippin' and the Vintage Hearts. When you start to see me get the, um, to that point. They're sitting out right now. But I do use them quite a bit. And you'll see me use them up throughout um, the process. Once I can get these hearts down. I don't use a lot of other mixed media or other um, embellishments. I kind of stick to just having 
the sequence. Excuse me, the sequence. And then make sure that you use Miranda 15. You will also get 15% off of your order. That is always a good thing. Go ahead and use that on anything that you have in the shop that um, Jody has over on her shop. And if you're not already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you as well. So I did go in and get some other hearts that I use for a die cut. I have the Genie die cut, or the Gemini, sorry, the Gemini die cut. So it works out really well for me to just go ahead and cut what I need. Because let me tell you, that has been a lifesaver with my um, carpal tunnel that I have in my hands. Now this is where I start to go in with the sequence. And you'll see me, I play around with all the sequins and I get them in there. And then you'll see me come in with some embellishments. And then I go back to the sequins to add. So I do use quite a bit of the sequins that I wanted to place on this um, layout. Now, the gingham collection, I started out with the Woodlink collection. And then some of the gingham collection is what I'm using for the embellishments. And that actually helps out to just kind of round out the layout for the for the plus sign. That's how I look at it, like the T, the T sign, like the lowercase T or plus sign. So I have the the line down the middle, and then I have the line horizontally and vertically down the middle. I'm using some of the hearts. And the hearts from this foam piece is from the scrap room. Now, I did get some of this collection, the Woodland and the Gingham collection from the scrap room. And that's why you see me only have a little bits and bobs of some of the pieces. And that is why I liked pulling these two together. Because it actually matches. The Woodland is a darker collection, but then the Gingham makes it a, a softer collection. And I think that it comes together really well. And I actually like the fact that these hearts are sticking a lot out on the layout. And they stick off the page. Because I wanted this sequence to be like that feature as well. That you're like, hey look, I am using sequence amongst these hearts. And I feel really confident that I achieved this look. So make sure that you check the description down below of all the products that I used out of the Spiegel Mom shop. Along with um, just to let you know like which ones I used to achieve the Distressed Ink look. Just so you have them as well. Um, just in case we didn't catch it in my um, voiceover here. You know to be able to say hey look what was it you can look down in the description. Along with, make sure that you use 15, Miranda 15 to get 15% off of your um, purchase from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Now, I am just rounding out. I don't actually add any more mixed media. I love the fact that I did. I know that I covered up some of the black, but the little bits that are showing are perfect. And I'm just kind of now just finishing up those little pieces that I wanted to add. I'm just kind of like seeing where else I want to put different color tones of the sequence on there. I do stick to a lot of the little hearts that you see that I did use from a die cut or like for from my Gemini, one of the thin lids die cuts, whatever you want to call them. And then I did use a lot more of that. So here are the still shots. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.